Welcome sa Zipline.com. This video ay itutuloy natin yung ating series about circles. No? And kung pinanood nyo yung previous video natin, ang ginawa natin doon ay pinroof natin that if a radius is perpendicular to a chord, then it bisects the chord. Dito, ipoprove natin yung converse nito. No? Uh, siguro bago sa inyo itong term na to. Converse. Now, uh, pwede nyo i-search sa internet or magkakaroon tayo ng video niyan dito sa sipta yan, converse, inverse, tsaka contrapositive. So, as of now, siguro, um, pwede nyo i-search mo na sa net or possibly kung pinanood nyo to uh, many days or many months after nitong pag-upload, meron na malamang tayong video dyan. So, pwede nyo i-search sa sipta yan. Okay, so if a radius bisects the chord, then it is perpendicular to the chord. So, bali, ang given natin dito is uh, a radius bisecting the chord. So, we have our given na circle O no, with um, OA, OA, segment OA bisecting or bisects BC. So, yun yung ating uh, given. So, radius OA bisects chord BC. So, if we want to be, say, if we want to be more specific, radius OA bisects chord BC. So, yun yung given natin. No? And if you watched the previous video, ang ginawa natin doon is kumuha tayo ng uh, dalawang, dalawang ano, no? triangle by connecting these uh, points, no? itong O tsaka C tsaka O tsaka B. So, nakabuo tayo ng dalawang triangle and we, we uh, tried to prove, uh, we proved that these two triangles are congruent. No? So, ganun din dito. No? Pero, hindi ibang theorem na yung gagamitin natin na hindi na-obra yung sa previous proof natin. Okay? So, basically, the idea is para tayo makarating dito sa ating ipoprove, no? we have to prove that uh, OA is congruent to BC. No, not congruent but perpendicular to BC. Sorry, o OA is perpendicular to BC. We have to prove that these two triangles are congruent. No? Okay. okay, so sa statement na tayo pupunta. Tsaka sa reasons. No? Now, ganun din, no? Para tayo makabuo ng triangle, syempre we have to draw uh, line segments, di ba? So, we can draw itong O, C, at saka O, B. No? So, draw O, C, and O, B. And what what permits us to do that no? in geometry? Sabi ni Euclid, two points determine a line or you can connect any two points using a line. So, yun yung pwede nating gawin. Anyway, line line can mean line segment or yung line mismo. No? So, this is by uh, Euclid's postulate, two points determine a line. Okay. And this is our first step. Next, we have to prove that these two triangles are congruent. So, what do we know so far? We know that this uh, segment is congruent to this segment. Bakit kaya? Saan galing yun? By sex, di ba? Pag, pag binaysek niya ito, definitely itong dalawang yan ay congruent yan kasi nga bisector nga siya. So, definition ng yan ng bisector or properties of a bisector that uh, pag binaysek niya yung dalawang uh, segment, that's a definition, ay ihati niya yung dalawang segments na yun into two equal parts. Meaning, uh, BD, no, BD is congruent to CD. No? So this is ang uh, definition of angle bisector. Definition of no no, definition of bisector. Hindi angle bisector kundi. Uh, definition of a bisector lang. Simple bisector na ka na bisector. Okay? So, isang side na yan ng triangle. Pwede tayo maghanap ng angles na 
uh, congruent or pwede na tayo maghanap ng size na congruent. No? So we have anin pang congruent? Ito na lamang to Congruent din yan, di ba? Kasi pareho silang radius. So that is uh, OB is also congruent to OC. Okay? Because they are radius of the same circle. Radii of the same circle. Circle. Okay. Circle. Okay, so that's that's uh, statement three. Next. Dalawang side. Pwede tayong maghanap na angle o pwede tayong maghanap na side, no? So, pwede ito, isang to. Kasi yan ay part ng, ng dalawang triangles and they are common, no? So, Itong part na to, corresponding part niya ito, corresponding side. Itong part na to, corresponding side niya ito. Itong part na to, ng triangle na ito, corresponding side din niya itong part ng triangle na to. So actually, uh, they are common. No? So number 4, we have OD is congruent to OD. That is common. No? Pwede mong lagay identity. Okay. So, ba't kailangan ito? Kasi, pag magpo-prove ka ng itong tatlong statements na to, by the way, yung tatlong statements na to ay for to prove that these two triangles are congruent. So, di ba pag ka, to prove that the two, triangle, two triangles are congruent, then you have to use the theorems or yung tinatawag minsan na postulates, the SSSSAS and ASA, no? Another, uh, postulates. Now, o oh ito, anong, anong napapansin nyo? May tatlong side na tayo. So, this is S, this is S, and this is S. So, meron na tayo. Congruent na sila by the SSS uh, congruence theorem or postulate. Well, strictly speaking, theorem siya kasi. Actually, may proof yan. Hirap lang. Kaso, ginagawa natin tinatanggap na siya as postulate sa mga libro kasi hindi na siya pinuproof, no? But uh, strictly speaking, it's a theorem. So by by these three, we conclude that triangle uh, OD, ODB ODB is actually congruent to triangle ODC. So this is by congru SSS congruence. And alam natin, pag congruent yung dalawang triangle, yung corresponding parts niyan, congruent din. Meaning, itong angle na to, what is the corresponding angle of of this angle here? Uh, ODB. Di ba ito? Ito ang corresponding angle niya. Itong angle na to, nandito siya. Itong angle na to, corresponding angle niya. Ito, pareho silang, dyan, pareho silang malaki, no? So, meaning, uh, number 6, angle ODB. Measure of angle ODB. Oh, no, no. Hindi mo kailangan na measure kasi congruent yung gagamitin natin. So, o, angle ODB is actually congruent to angle ODC. Okay? This is corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. They are corresponding angles of congruent triangles. Therefore, they are congruent. And lastly, we, I think we, we are in the last two statements. We also know that um, the measure of angle A ODB plus the measure of angle ODC is equal to 90 degrees. Well, I think it's obvious. Dahil uh, supplementary sila, di ba? It's a straight line. Therefore, uh, if we have a point here and I rotate ka from here to here, that's 180. That's a straight line siya. And yeah, they are supplementary angles. Definition of supplementary angles. Okay, and number eight, we have measure of. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Hindi siya one eight. Hindi siya ninety. One eighty pala siya. This is one eighty. Which means that the uh, measure of angle O D B is equal to measure of angle. ODC, which equal to 90 degrees. This is by statement 6 and 7. 
So, tignan natin gawing reason nyo yung statement 6 and 7. Kasi, equal nga naman sila. Tapos, ang ang 180 ang kanilang measure. So, maghahati sila sa 180. Diba? So, pwede na natin gamitin yung reasons yan. And number 9, syempre, yun na yun. No? Uh, if they, if each of the, these angles measure 180, uh, 90 degrees, sorry. If each of these angles measure 180, sorry. If each of these angles measure 90, measures 90 degrees, meaning they are perpendicular, uh, OA is perpendicular to BC. So 90 degrees, diba? OB. OA is perpendicular to BC. Or OD lang muna. OD is perpendicular to BC. Kasi pinag-usapan pala natin angle. So, perpendicular lines... meet at 90 degrees or, per, or lines that meet at 90 degrees are perpendicular lines that forms form 90 degrees angle angle are perpendicular and lastly we have number 10 we have OA is, is perpendicular to BC. May substitution. Baka tayo nag-substitute. Baka natin pinita ng OA yung OD because they contain the same line. O they are the same line. OD is actually contained in OA. So OA is the same as, it's the same line. Or pwede natin sabihin OA and OD are on the same line. So basically, they are the same line. Okay? So I think this is what we want to prove and we are done. Diba? Yan ang gusto natin prove. OA is perpendicular to PC at approve na natin. Okay? That's it. I hope uh, meron kayong natutunan sa video na to um, so kayo invite sa Sipnayan uh, uh, Facebook page at sa ating uh, YouTube channel we have youtube.com slash user slash Sipnayan PH and of course our Facebook page facebook.com slash Sipnayan PH and gusto nyo nagpunta sa aming website may mga exercises sa Sipnayan.com uh, you are very welcome maraming salamat see you in the next tutorial